Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Titus Diorama and Toy Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing the Spider-Man from the new animated series Spider-Man Classic line. Uh, starting from the left, working right, we have the Spider-Man Spider-Sense suit with wall crawling action. We then have the Spider-Man web glider. The six arm Spider-Man, Man Spider, and the Stealth Venom variant clear. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so I wanted to do a little bit of a different style of review today with you guys. I wanted to review some action figures that I got uh, growing up uh, in the 90s. Well, all of them but the Man Spider. I got that not too long ago. Um, these, as I was stating, are characters based on the animated Spider-Man series. And as you can probably tell, the Spider-Sense, the Six-Arm... Uh, Spider-Man and the Man Spider are right out of that actual uh, cartoon. Um, the Man Spider I actually recently picked up in the last year um, at a Toy Traders. Um, and I was really lucky to get it. It was in the best condition. They had a couple. Uh, some of them were missing arms. Uh, both antennas or the mandibles on the front. This was the best one. So I couldn't pass it up. Uh, I didn't pay a heck of a lot of, uh, for it, but I do like having it in my collection. Uh, for the rest of them, like I said, got these when I was growing up uh, for Christmas gifts mainly. Uh, but I love the animated series, and I do love these figures. Um, that stated, these figures don't have the same type of articulation um, that figures today do. Uh, and that's just a product of the time. Uh, way back then... Figures like these weren't considered collectibles. Um, they were considered toys, which is what they really are. Um, so they didn't have a lot of points of articulation uh, because really, if you think about it, you didn't really need it. You're throwing them around, all that kind of stuff. And mine definitely got well used uh, while growing up. Um, depending on the figure that you're looking at, um, they may have more or limited uh, articulation. Um, than others, but mainly the rule of thumb is the head can turn left and right. Uh, in this particular one, the gimmick is uh, both arms are supposed to go up and down as he's climbing a wall. Um, this arm, unfortunately, does not work anymore with that. Um, the legs can do pretty good split on at least this particular one. It goes up back just a little bit. Kicks forward quite far. So sorry, I just realized I was at a frame. So it kicks back a little bit. Kicks back pretty far. Um, there's a little bit of twist at the knee. There's a bend at the knee. But that's all. For some of the other uh, figures, they actually just have the ability to kick forward. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and they don't have the knee swivel as the spider sense one does. Uh, but they do have the turning of the head. Mine on this one's really tight. I do have some of the accessories for these guys. Uh, for instance, I have the glider for the gliding spider man. I do have the uh, the glove and the bat um, for the six arm Spider Man. I do not know where they are right now. I couldn't find them before doing this review. Um, for the Spider Sense, I do have the cable that he's supposed to glide on, but I am missing and I lost it long ago. 
the little clip that goes on his arm in order to slide down that cable. The man spider, I unfortunately got none of the restraining uh, parts that's supposed to restrain him. Uh, and then the variant uh, clear uh, venom uh, comes with the clip on uh, symbiote attack uh, hands. Um, the Venom one being a variant, uh, there was a, a full colored one that um, came with a wrap that goes around his midsection. I believe mine came with it. It wasn't supposed to, but I believe mine did have it packaged in because I remember that. Uh, unfortunately, I have lost that piece uh, to time. Um, and the other big thing is, as you can see, like all clear figures, they yellow over time, uh, especially the arms and the legs. Uh, I've tried to keep these figures in areas uh, nowadays where they're not in a lot of sunlight or in a lot of humidity, so they don't get that sticky feeling that a lot of these figures tend to do um, when they get older. Um, let me go ahead and show you at least the accessories that I have out on display here and how they connect up there. Um, so you can get an idea of that and then we'll wrap this thing up all right so for the gliding spider-man you actually open up his arms now i tend to roll back the arms just slightly to make it a little easier and as you can see here on the side i know it's a little blurry guys i'm sorry about that there's a hole that goes straight through and there's a hole that's on his lower leg this is where these peg into the little pegs there. This also clips into his arm. So let's try to do this on the screen here so you can see what's going on. I fold the arm up, I stick one in, and I stick the other in down here, and then you clip the hand. Oh, this one's on the wrong side. Let's flip it over. There we go and clip the hand in and that holds that in one side you can swivel this back so it looks like he's gripping on it and then you do the same for the other side so you plug it in clip it on and then plug his arm up here now the legs can still bend a little bit, but you can see it's very easy to pop them out of the actual pegs with that. And then the last thing is, he's got a little backpack that you can put onto his back. There's a hole in the back of him. So you can clip that on there, so it looks like that. And the gimmick is, you can pull on it, which mine may or may not work, because I believe it's got a knot in it. Uh, but when you'd pull on it, he would slide up and down the actual cable. Uh, mine, unfortunately, yes, is snagged on the inside. That sometimes happens with these guys. There we go. I think I just loosened it up. So you'd pull. And he would, there you go, slide up and down or glide if you had him straight. The Venom one here is really easy. The hands, as you can see, have the little hand holes that peg onto his hands. So they just clip in by giving him a really good squeeze. And it's on. And the same thing goes with the other hand and the other accessory. You just get it in and it clips right on so you can see. And he has his symbiote hands. Of course, he's much harder to stand now with those hands on. Again, these are made to be played with uh, and not necessarily displayed with their stuff. All in all, guys, I think this is a really great wave. Uh, I wish I could pick up some more, but they're hard to find. And when you do find them, they're a bit expensive. Um, so I'll keep an eye out on uh, some of the toy trader places and, and just see if I can find more. 
Anyway, guys, I really hope that you like this particular type of review. I'll try to do more reviews for you uh, like this with some of the old action figures that I have. Um, and if you do like it, please hit the like button. Leave a comment in the comments field below uh, and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And as always, stay nerdy.